Uh, first of all, uh, I guess from the time of COVID, so we can't shake hands. So maybe we'll do an elbow, elbow yeah, bump, elbow. an elbow bump. And uh, today, Kyle is with us. Thank you for coming in, Kyle. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. It's, right, it's been a few months. It's been yeah, a few yeah, months. It's good to months. see you. And so today, we're going to talk to Kyle about his interview experiences and uh, maybe learn some some tips and some advice from Kyle. Before coming to ITI, um, what was your major in university? Oh, I major in uh, history. In history. <laughs> in history. And uh, and then after you left university, you worked in what industry? I work in the fastener industry. Screws, nuts, nuts, and bolts. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, but then you decided you wanted to change your career. Yes. And you thought ITI might be helpful. Why did you come to ITI? Uh, there's two two most uh, important parts. I choose ITI. One part is uh, I want to learn a lot of uh, more information, uh, more knowledge about international business. International business. Yeah, because I my major is history. I don't mm. have enough stronger background. And uh, also right. I want to improve my English skills. Mm. And so I choose ITI. Yeah. Okay. And then you wanted to change direction, right? You wanted to go into IT, the IT industry. Yeah. yeah. At the end, after going through ITI, um, was it useful? Was it useful for you to change your career direction? Yes, I success. I success to change my career path to the IT industry. Uh, now, Econet is the IC design design house. We design mm -hmm. a Facebook and the IC chips, and we also is a, a subsidiary of the NTK Group. So yes, I success to change my career path. So how was it useful and the what you learned or what you got from ITI? How did it help you um, find find your new career in IT? ITI helped you a lot, a lot more than I think before I joined ITI, uh, because my English skill uh, before my jo I joined ITI, my English is around six hundred sixty. <laughs> Graduate, my my toy score is uh, eight hundred, and so also my English pre uh, presentation skill are uh, increased and I uh, growing better before I joined ITI, and uh, also lots of uh, the international business knowledge they help me to to uh, to convince my interviewers that they, they, they have, if they hire me I will help them to do some business because my customers are not for only for the United States they are very difficult to handle like uh, the Thailand mm. or the Southeast Asia or the Middle East Asia that's uh, the country so right. lots of a uh, different uh, policy lots of a uh, different uh, laws so we have to follow we have to find out so yeah it helped me a lot okay and you also mentioned you you also learned a lot from um, from teachers in class but also your classmates as well yeah you would have like informal um, study groups perhaps about the IT industry and sharing information with each other about that mm -hmm. and also practicing presentations you guys a little <laughs> informal presentation practice group yeah. And, uh, and after ITI, when you were looking for jobs, actually you were looking for jobs before you left ITI, mm -hmm. but what were the big challenges that you were noticing? You had many job interviews, right? Mm -hmm. How many job interviews did you have before you got Econet's job? Oh, I think um, there's more than 20, more than 20 interviews that I, I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, along the way, along these 20, 20 interviews, what was your biggest challenge or what did you find was a big challenge for you? Most of the big challenge they will ask me is, oh, sorry, you don't have the experience about our industry, so we can hire you, or we can offer you a much better salary. Some kind of that they challenge you about my background, of course, because they 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 want to cut my salary, or maybe <laughs> they think I am not qualified. Right, <clears throat> and so if that was a big challenge, you didn't have the background or the experience working in that area. Um, how did you overcome that challenge? What did you do to convince those interviewers that, okay, uh, I, I belong here, I know, I know this industry, or um, I'm prepared to enter this industry? How did you do that? Oh, so, for example, ITI, they have a course that, that may make us to do the industrial report. So let, if you use their skills, you can well prepare, you can do some research about this company and, and also about this industry. So you can bring down some material and uh, you can bring down some, some information. Then you can 
tell them, okay, now this is what I got, what I know about this industry and what your company are going to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that's what I got. And uh, also I have some skill from ITI, for example, English and uh, some kind of, of a skill I learned, what I did, and uh, that's what I can bring to your company. And you also, because uh, you talked to me about this earlier on, and you just mentioned it in the interview a few minutes ago, uh, you could also quantify some of that, mm -hmm. quantify your learning experiences at, at ITI. You mentioned TOEIC. Yeah. You had a 150, 150 point increase, mm -hmm. you know, from the beginning and then six months later, uh, again at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one way to quantify it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the industry report and creating an industry report yes. in some way also shows it here. Mm -hmm. But you also did other things to prepare for interviews. Uh, you also did your own homework, your own industry report. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Uh, okay, for example, my I do an industrial report for an automotive industrial. That was uh, it. That was in ITI. That was in ITI. Right. But uh, because I want to join the IT industrial, so I do the in IT industrial research by myself. Mm. Also, lots of my classmates the, they want to join the IT industrial. Mm. So we have a small group. We were in informal st uh, study group, but we share about our knowledge and our information about IT industrial. We discuss with us, we discuss together, mm -hmm. and we will find out some uh, some opinion. Yeah, I think they help me a lot, and also my classmate they learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And when you came back before, and you shared with um, our new ITI students, um, how you were preparing for some of these interviews. Uh, you on the whiteboard were, were drawing a, a map, a map of a certain industry that you're interested in, yeah. like uh, like the PC industry. Yeah. So how did you, just very, very briefly, because we will take a, a look at this in more detail later, but very briefly, how did, you, how did you make that map and how did you find out information to make that map of the industry? Mm -hmm. uh, first, you can Google the, about this industry, what this industry are going to do. So you can Google it. And the, also the major players in the industry. Yeah. So if like the PC industry in Taiwan, who are the big players in Taiwan? Yeah. For example, if you want to uh, uh, analyze the ASUS, you can use a wiki, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, mm -hmm. you can choose ASUS, and then, then, then you can find out, oh, okay, they compete, who is their competitor, and uh, what, what kind of a CPU chip they use. Then so you can do it more deeply research, and uh, also, they have uh, some the international website. I I, I, I can show you show you later. So mm. I think you can demonstrate to the to ITR student. It's very helpful. About, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll do that later on. We'll have a, a, another video next time talking about this map, and uh, uh, Kyle is going to draw out the map and then he'll give us some links for anybody else who wants to also do the same thing or or something similar with a different industry.